Welcome to Global Defense News and Analysis, your number one trusted source for independent journalism, where we bring you the latest insights on global military developments, defense strategies, and technological advancements. Ukraine fields counter drone rifle rounds, disrupting Russian offensive. Ukraine has taken a critical leap forward in counter drone warfare, unveiling new rifle fired ammunition designed to shoot down Russian drones. These innovative counter-drone rounds are now being deployed amid Russia's summer offensive, offering Ukrainian troops a lightweight, flexible way to defend against the growing threat of small unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, used for both reconnaissance and attack. In a video released on June 30th by Ukraine's Brave One Defense Tech Initiative, soldiers can be seen using these new 5.56mm rounds, compatible with standard NATO rifles such as the M4 and CZ Bren, to destroy an incoming drone. Once fired, each round splits into five high-velocity pellets, creating a shotgun-like spread capable of disabling drones up to 50 meters away. This development means Ukrainian infantry can now counter drones without relying on separate, heavier systems, simply by swapping magazines during an engagement. The significance of this breakthrough can't be overstated. As Russia shifts away from traditional artillery reliance in favor of cost-effective drone tactics, Ukraine's forces are under constant aerial threat. Drones are being used to identify trench positions and target dismounted troops, especially in areas not fully covered by electronic warfare (EW) or air defense systems. These new rounds allow Ukrainian soldiers to respond kinetically, dramatically increasing the odds of neutralizing drones before they strike. Crucially, the new ammunition has already been codified under NATO standards, signaling Ukraine's commitment to large-scale production and frontline deployment. According to defense outlet Militani, Ukrainian units are expected to receive at least one full magazine of these rounds per soldier. This shift transforms each infantryman into a point defense system, without the added weight of a second weapon or the logistical burden of distributing dedicated anti-drone platforms. This adaptation comes as Russia's drone fleet evolves. Some UAVs now bypass jamming by using fiber-optic tethers, rendering traditional EW systems ineffective. Ukraine's new kinetic countermeasure provides a durable response, forcing Russia to either limit drone use or accept increasing UAV attrition. The rounds are also harder to defeat. Drones can't be armored against high-velocity pellets, and their small size limits design options for stealth or resilience. Video evidence from the front lines shows Ukrainian troops often spot drones moments before attack, just enough time to take cover. With these new rounds, however, troops can now shoot back instead of just running. The success of this tactic hinges on rapid detection and response, both of which Ukrainian forces have been training for intensively. From a broader military perspective, Ukraine's counter-drone ammunition may shift the doctrinal approach to drone warfare. Rather than relying entirely on high-tech EW or expensive anti-air systems, this innovation reintroduces infantry-level engagement against aerial threats. It's a cost-effective, scalable solution, at a time when both sides are seeking affordable ways to maintain operational tempo in a long, grinding war. If Russia's drones are neutralized or significantly degraded, the Kremlin may have to revert to less efficient, more detectable artillery strikes, or risk higher casualties in direct assaults. In either scenario, Ukraine gains tactical breathing room and puts pressure back on Russian forces. The war in Ukraine continues to redefine 21st century battlefield dynamics, and this latest development underscores the rapid pace of adaptation. What began as a conflict marked by tank battles and cruise missiles has morphed into a high-tech infantry-centered contest, where even rifle bullets are being re-engineered for aerial threats. How will Russia adapt to Ukraine's rifle-based drone defense? Can this technology scale further to reshape NATO infantry doctrine? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for listening to Global Defense News and Analysis. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on the latest defense news and analysis. Your support helps us bring you in-depth military insights.